Hey guys, Zoe here from OneGlassTrader.com and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my brand new EA, the OGT lot size. Now if you want to get hold of this EA, as with all everything I do, it's absolutely 100% free. Just click the link below this video. Now I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and messages around uh, a lot size indicator or EA. Now, a lot of people don't want to sit there trying to calculate how much is 2% of their account to work out the stop loss and the take profit target, etc, etc. So what I've done is I've built an EA that you guys can download for absolutely free. Now, I've got the EA already loaded up on this uh, on this chart. And when you put the EA on the chart, you'll get this uh, kind of box over here. And what it'll do, it'll say what the currency pair is and the send button. And if you click this button and you've got uh, auto trading on, uh, depending on the settings you set in the EA, it will automatically place a trade for you. So again, this is version one. There are a little bit of bugs inside it in terms of if you try to close down the EA or remove the EA, this box still remains and things like that. So I'm still working out the kinks, but I'm keen on getting it out there to the community, getting your feedback and try to refine it as um, future versions come out. So let's get into the inputs of the EA. Do So, uh, as always, uh, the About tab, version 1.1, .1, and again, depending on when you're watching this video, just uh, click on the um, uh, link over here or head to oneglasstrader.com to get the updated version if there are any inside the future. As always, I'm not going to go into how to install EAs, but effectively, just click, click on Live Trading. Um, and then we then go into the actual inputs of, of the EA. Now... Again, it assumes that you've done some sort of analysis and we'll do a practice trade inside a second. Um, but it assumes that, you know, you either want to buy or you want to sell. So you firstly select which direction you want to trade. Um, and then you set your percentage risk of your balance. So in this case, the default setting is 1%. So you want to set 1%. Uh, that's all you want to risk in the account, 1%. Then it... And then the way it calculates the stops and the take profit is all based on uh, ATR. And ATR, for those who don't know, is the average true range, which kind of measures the volatility uh, over over a kind of a, a period of time or a number of bars. And uh, you can set the ATR to whatever you want. And it uses the default indicator that comes with MT4. Um, so what you can do here, and what this is saying here is, uh, you want to set the ATR, uh, you want to set your stop loss X number of ATRs away. So the default setting is uh, one ATR. So in this case, if we look at this, this is 20, 21 points or 21 pips. If we place a trade here, it will set the stop loss 21 points away from cut the current price. And from a take profit perspective, exactly the same is that it will set your take profit 21 points uh, ahead or below, depending if you're going long or short, uh, ahead of current price. So in this case, you've got a one-to-one -one risk to reward. And you can change this. You can you know, you know, can either go for your two-to-one, three-to-one, four-to-one, however you want to do it. Or you can you know, go for a kind of a scalping method and have a, a, a one times ATR stop loss. or uh, And you can have a five times ATR stop loss, right? So there's a lot of things you can do with it. But then it calculates your lot size based on the amount of risk and how far your stop loss and te uh, or technically your stop loss is um, uh, is is away. So that's kind of how this element works from there. Um, and you can that is the core basic feature. Um, you can use it just like that to do what uh, to do what you need to do. However, I've <clears throat> enabled a trade to now you don't have to take this so if you hit off or false rather um, it will just use these uh, kind of four settings in there as well as the ATR period which is a bit further down um, and that and that's 
pretty much the indicator, or I mean EA, sorry, uh, and how it works. But if you were to enable trade two, this is how trade two works. So what happens is, is as soon as <clears throat> the, um, um, yeah, as soon as the first trade either hits your stop loss or take profit, it will enable a second trade. Now, the way it works is if your take profit is hit and you have trade two enabled, it will open a second trade in the same direction. So if I was to buy this pair um, and it reached my take profit target of 21 pips plus spread and I had trade two enabled, it will open a second trade, a second buy trade. Um, if it was to hit my stop loss, uh, it will then open, and I've got trade two enabled. It will then open a second, uh, a second trade in, in the opposite direction of the first trade. So in this case, a sell trade. Now might take you, it might take a bit of a second to get your head around that. So again, re rewind the video, um, and uh, listen to that piece again. And again, as always, strongly recommend to do this on a demo account. So just to get yourself used to, in terms of how this works. And the settings for trade two in terms of percentage risking stop loss and take profit is based again exactly as the, as the same as before, but taken at the ATR um, taken at the ATR reading at the time of either when your take profit or stop loss is hit. So I hope that makes sense. Again, if you've got any questions, just leave leave comments or just drop me a note. I'll, I'll be ha more than happy to answer them. These pits I wouldn't change because these try to work out the ATR. Uh, kind of rates based on you know the um, uh, the kind of number of zeros and things like that or the actual currencies themselves this is the ATR setting so you can see here I've got ATR 14 14 period you can change this to as high as low as you want um, and then this just then tells you around the colors of the um, <clears throat> of the actual button itself and then you've got the uh, alerts whether you want a alert for sounds sound or push notification or you can actually do success or that one take take that off uh, as none uh, as none for now because uh, I don't really want my phone going off during the video you got some slippage and you got your magic number so what I've got here all I'm going to do is I'm just going to assume I want to buy this pair um, I want to risk one percent of my account I want the stop loss to be one times the ATR and my take profit to be well, good we'll do it two times the ATR just so you can kind of see the difference um, and at this stage I'm not going to have a second trade so as you hit OK and now as soon as I hit send um, it will place the trade so let's just say for example um, I want to uh, the reason why I want to buy is two reasons one um, that the RSI MTF uh, indicator again which you can download absolutely free um, um, is showing a potential up signal so this is showing multiple time frames um, uh, oversold um, and let's just say that this was close of the bar and the uh, MACD has just crossed over uh, to, to the upside giving us two bullish signals so a bit of you know a confluence there to show there now Let's say I'm happy with that. The current ATR is at 21 points. If I just hit send, what you can see now is what it's done. It's automatically added in a. Um, let's now zoom in a little bit on this. It's now automatically added in a trade. So it's calculated my lot size at 0.06 based on my account. Um, I don't know how much is in this kind of demo account. 980 pounds. So it's calculated that 1% of my balance is 0 0.06. And then again, because you've got spread and stuff into account, you know, it's kind of worked out around 21 points uh, in terms of a stop loss. So we're looking at, what's that, 42-ish. It's a bit higher than that, I'm guessing, with the spread and everything like that, depending on how you want to look at it, around 42 points of, of a take profit. And that's it. So again, it takes all the thinking out of it, having calculators on spreadsheets and using the calculator on uh, on Word or Mac or whatever, whatever you're using to kind of place your trades. And it takes all the guesswork out of it. And I, I really hope you guys find this um, 
EA useful. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I will appreciate it is a bit buggy, but in theory, in terms of doing what it needs to do, it does work. And if if you want to use it, uh, use it on different currency pairs or drag a new um, new currency pair on top of this one. My advice to you is just close down. Um, close down the pair open a brand new chart and then reload the indicator back on the chart that's the best advice i can give you at this stage but again send me send me your feedback uh, and we'll go from there uh, and i shall see you guys on the next video